Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today I'm going to be showing you in the Pulsar Duo, in this case I've got the DXP50, how to switch between the color and thermal channels and how to blend those, you know, like how to have one in the PIP and the opposite in the base screen and how to zoom and the different uh, functions that you can do therein. I actually had a good customer, Ron, that reached out to me and asked me to do this so that uh, he could learn a little bit more about it. So so this one's for you, Ron. So let's jump inside the device. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the record so I can show you what I'm doing here. And uh, effectively what we're gonna to do to start off with is you're gonna see where I'm in the thermal channel by itself. Um, I can hit the short switching button back here at the back to toggle between the, the thermal channel and the color day vision mode. And then likewise, if I do a long press on that button, I can I can blend them, so to speak. So now I've got thermal in the upper channel, uh, the little PIP window, and I've got color in the lower channel. Likewise, if I wanted to switch those, once I've activated that function, I just do a short press back here on the switching button, and you can see where now I have color in the PIP window and thermal in the base screen. Uh, the base screen is always going to be a little wider than the upper screen in the sense that uh, because I've got the widest field of view possible there in that main screen and the PIP window has to be constrained a bit smaller, you have to have double the magnification in the PIP window, but that's okay because that's intuitive for the way that it's used to get better detail on those subjects that are a little bit farther out there. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, also, if I want to step zoom just in the PIP while the PIP is active, I can do short presses of the plus button up here which are going to allow me to zoom you know just inside that PIP window and then again I could do the same thing if I do a short switch and go to color only if I wanted to zoom just in that color uh, PIP window then short presses up there are going to accomplish the same thing if I want a smooth zoom then I do a short press on the plus button and roll the encoder uh, by rolling the encoder while that's active you can see there where I can adjust in 0.1 increments so that can be handy sometimes if you don't want to take uh, the values that the step zoom gives you which are essentially going to be in the PIP window on the on the XP uh, 50 model or DXP 50 model 4 8 and 16 um, in the base screen which I'll show you here in a minute if I turn the PIP if I turn the PIP window off, which I'm going to do by doing a long press back here on the on the switching button when I've got it in the blended mode, then you'll see where my step zooms are 2, 4, 8, and 16. And likewise, you know, for at any point while it's active, I can start rolling the encoder to smooth zoom in or out. And then I can just uh, take over again by step zooming from any point. So again, if I'm in the base mode, want to switch between thermal and digital short press on the switching button, but you know, that's going to, that's going to allow me to do that. And then long press to bring up the blended mode, you know, and short press to invert those. So his question was specifically, well, what if I want just the thermal channel? Let's say it's gotten dark and I want the thermal channel alone. So what you're going to want to do is long press, make sure that you're on, you know, that you're not on a blended screen, that you're on just a, you know, just a stationary main screen. And then what you're going to do is perform a long press on this plus button over here to turn on the PIP and so now you can see where I have control over the PIP the way that I explained it previously you know short presses to step zoom you know while it's active rolling the encoder will allow me to control it over here in a smooth zoom function but I'm all color at the moment or if I want a short press I can do all thermal you know from the same point so you know, I hope that clarifies that for you, Ron. I hope you can see the button presses that I was doing there. Uh, if you have any questions on this device or any of the other Pulsar devices, be sure and reach out to me, toll free, 877 877- 806-2977. Uh, you can buy these devices or check them out on our website, www.foxoptic.com. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day.